The Milky Way Galaxy, home to our solar system. It's believed our solar system formed at least four and a half billion years ago when a huge cloud of dust and gas collapsed into a dense mass. That mass began to spin and flatten into a disk. The center grew hotter and hotter until finally a new star, our sun, was born. Leftover dust and gases continued to whirl around the sun and over millions of years form the planets and moons that make up our solar system. The sun is at the center. Its gravity binds the solar system together. It accounts for 99% of the solar system's mass. The closest planet to the sun is Mercury, a relatively small planet known for its extremes of temperatures. Above 800 degrees Fahrenheit during the day and minus 300 or so degrees at night. Next is Venus, the near twin of the Earth in size, mass, and density. Its atmosphere is mostly carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas that traps the sun's heat and raises the surface temperature to nearly 900 degrees Fahrenheit. Clouds of sulfuric acid swirl above Venus's rocky surface. The third planet is Earth, an active planet that's constantly changing. More than 70% of its surface is covered by water. Earth teems with life, something that so far has been found nowhere else. Just beyond Earth lies Mars, a barren planet with striking geographic features, including red soil, canyons four times deeper than the Grand Canyon, and polar ice. Between Mars and the next planet is the asteroid belt, in millions of rocky fragments, most no more than a mile across. The fifth planet from the Sun is far and away the largest, Jupiter, a gaseous giant big enough to hold more than 1,300 Earths. Its great red spot alone, a huge hurricane-like storm, is twice as wide as Earth. Saturn, the second largest planet, is next famous for its massive rings of ice and ice-covered particles. Seventh from the Sun is Uranus, which is unique because it rotates on its side. It too has rings and at least 27 moons. Neptune, the eighth planet, is perhaps the windiest place in the solar system, with gusts over 1,200 miles per hour. Neptune marks the end of the planets, but not the end of the solar system. Farther on is Pluto, a dwarf planet. At its greatest distance, Pluto orbits more than four and a half billion miles from the Sun. As vast and diverse as our solar system is, it's but one in a galaxy of billions of stars, in a universe comprised of billions of galaxies. <laughs>